Close your eyes and keep your awareness with the breath. You know the breath all the way in, all the way out. Be as sensitive as you can to how the breathing feels. The more sensitive you are, the more refined the breath becomes, the more soothing it becomes. This is part of learning how to take care of yourself in the present moment. We get wounded by the world and we get wounded by our own defilements, so we need some ways of healing ourselves. The Buddha gives you good things to think about, good things to do. Good things to think about, of course, start with goodwill, a wish for true happiness. We wound ourselves with our desires for lesser happiness. So it's good to raise our sights to realize that true happiness, a happiness that doesn't have any drawbacks at all, is possible. But it will take work, and for that you need energy. This is one of the reasons why we need to get the mind centered, because the more it runs around, the more energy it wastes. So you get it really centered and still, and it not only rests, but also begins to generate energy inside. Like an electric generator that sits in one place, but it hums away and creates more and more power. So you stay in one place, circle around in the body, make sure the body feels relaxed and at ease. But your full awareness right here is going to create energy, and that energy will be healing for the body, healing for the mind, and give you the strength you need to stick with the practice. I learned the other day that educators have suddenly realized that success in education comes from sticking with things, and you think, well, that's something we knew all along, but it got forgotten for a while. But it's learning how to stick with things. That's what brings success. The Buddha lists it as one of the bases for success is persistence, learning how to stick with it. Now you don't stick with it and just run out of energy. You have to create energy as you're sticking with it. And so we do that by hovering around the breath, circling around the breath inside, not going anywhere else. That way we create power in the mind. When the mind has strength like that, then it can deal with whatever situations in the world that are unfriendly, unkind, harmful and not be harmed by them. We can deal with our own defilements and come out winning. So learn to strengthen the mind as a way of healing it, and that way your practice will be able to go far.